Well, hey, Man Cave Inns, this is Bob for the Bob Zenscale Man Cave, and I'm at the Rocky Mountain Train Show here in Denver, Colorado. And uh, we're gonna see what's here today. I haven't been here in five years, and I see that it's already it's gotten a lot bigger than it was five years ago. So we're gonna see a bunch of stuff, look at some, uh, oh, some manufacturers and some layouts, and uh, show you what was here this weekend. Also, I'm going to see uh, Ed Dickens. I'm not going to show you that whole briefing, but I'm still going to watch his uh, presentation too as well. He does that, I think, almost every year. So come on out next time. And we're here at the MTH trains. Mostly they sell HO, O scale, and G scale products. And you can see the difference in size right here with the G scale ones here. And got some pretty good looking diesels. I uh, would like to get into garden railroading someday. And of course you got those HO products as well with sound and lights. Very nice products. Um, Kind of makes me want to get into HO someday. Ooh, even got steam locomotives too. That's uh, pretty awesome. And here's a nice big G scale diesel locomotive. And the micro trains line, my end scale stuff. A lot of sets coming out. You have some cameo car, six car series, a lot of series kind of things, even military sets you can get like these right here. Tanks and uh, Humvees. The solar system series is just like the Thomas Kincaid series, but with all the planets on it. And they're lighted and without lights as well. You can also get the Santa Fe Fast Mail Express train. And here's some of the March releases for you. And uh, a couple new series coming out. Uh, Wine to Glass and Railbox. And you got some weathered uh, sets as well. Some of these uh, cars right here. Nice and weathered, and the family line system, that package. You also got some of the 60 foot ribside cube things, the hoppers, the DOD flat car three packs, like I was talking about earlier. And here you have the Cotto booth, where you have the Cotto uh, 400 and 400 miles uh, car set, train set. You also have the PRR Broadway Limited right here. It just came out and is in stock. And you even got some HO products as well, like the Zamtrak set, along with some other new items coming out. And there's that 400 set right there. Also have the Hiawatha set that's still out. And the PA1, PB1s, along with the EMD E5As. And here we over at the Broadway Limited booth, and they do have some of the new, these new sound switchers and some of uh, the standard steam locomotives. Ooh, those are nice. And some of these newer products coming out. They've got some of those E8s, E9s, SD70 Aces, AC6000s, some nice sounding diesels from what I've seen so far. Heritage units too. And we're over here at the Atherton booth. Now they have the brand new SD80 Mac sets here in HO. Those look really nice and they sound great too. Even has some N scale products here. They're coming out with a new SD70M, which is coming right up here right now. And there it is. Not a whole lot of new things coming out from Atherton in N scale. Uh, the locomotives do not have any uh, sound. But here's the new 6070 or SD60 Cyclops in HO. This is pre production models. 
you can see these look really really nice with uh, those sunshades and I see all this piping along the trucks they're really adding some good detail into these HO models now just take a look at all that you have some close-ups here with all the little parts before all the paint gets on it windshield wipers and etc horns are nice grills and fans and the KD booth we have some HON3 couplers and they also have some HO couplers and rail cars as well this is neat some KD coupler key rings and you got a few of these uh, rail cars that they have as well and some other kits you got the KD cars and some of these other pre-assembled models right here interesting I didn't really know they made those and you got some cylindrical covered hoppers right here that came out in end scale these look pretty good pretty good and you also got some of these uh, auto racks with some etched metal sides these are all in HO scale those are good and we also have some box cars and the, like the wood reefer refrigerator cars these are in end scale these passenger car sets the Amtrak and looks like the Milwaukee Road and of course you go over to end scale supply store here, booth here they're in a, they're in Colorado near in the Denver area just north of downtown got a lot of nice products on display here and of course there's plenty of trains everywhere I mean this is just an extra area that just had a lot of train sets and the food was down here it was everywhere
Well, there you go, Man Cave Inns. That's been the Rocky Mountain Train Show here in Denver this weekend. Hope you enjoyed the video, and there was a lot of things here to see, and I hope you enjoyed it. Well, it's also going on tomorrow, Sunday, as well, if you want to come by and see that. Um, till next time, Man Cave Inns, happy model railroading. Stay off those tracks. Oh, yeah, and if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Click the bell down below and maybe consider subscribing. Till next time, happy model railroading, and again, stay off those tracks. Bye.